Congratulations, you get to the end of the ARC 4021 introductory UFI. Let's quickly recap what we learned during this course. We started with firmware fundamentals. We learned what firmware means, why we need it, uh, how it is related to BIOSTERM, what BIOSTERM means and how BIOS evolved into the UFI. We then uh, started learning a little bit about UFI basics, uh, especially the goals of UFI and PI specifications, what kind of features they describe, what kind of uh, essential components uh, we can find inside. We, we learned about UFI architecture and we also learned about UFI uh, implementations, especially about reference implementation called EDK2. From the practical point of view, we, we know how to build uh, and debug EDK2, we know how to explore uh, UFI BIOS images, we know how to boot those BIOS images into emulated uh, environment uh, using QEMU, uh, we know um, UFI boot process and know how to explore it, know where to find the logs about it and how to read it. Uh, we also know UFI shell, uh, some basic commands, how to uh, deal with them, or how to find help about them and what are, are, what are the most important uh, UFI shell commands. Uh, we also uh, know how to store UFI BIOS configuration and we know various types of uh, UFI variables which can keep that configuration. Uh, we know how to deal with UFI variables from Linux uh, environment and, uh, and finally we understand how UFI variables uh, can relate to uh, more complex things like uh, UFI Secure Boot. So thank you very much for taking this class. Uh, please feel free to um, explore other uh, open security training classes and, uh, and uh, we wish you good luck on uh, your path to further learning and further exploration of uh, firmware, firmware security and other low-level bits.